Welcome to our video about hiking the Manitou Incline. If you like a physical challenge, this is the hike for you. This hike has over 2,768 steps and almost 2,000 feet elevation gain in less than one mile. You are going straight up these steps the entire first part of this hike. This hike is located just west of Manitou Springs in the Colorado Springs area of Colorado. I would like to note that you need to make a reservation to do this hike. Reservations are free and you can make them online. I'll give a link to the website for reservations in the description under this video. All right, diving into the details of this hike. There are a few different ways you can do this hike for different skill levels. However, anyone that does this hike should be able to hike up a lot of steps. The path that we chose for this hike was about five miles round trip with over 2000 feet elevation gain. We're gonna talk more about our route later in this video, but for now, let's go over the couple other ways you could do this hike. If you don't wanna do that last one mile loop after you make it to the top of the incline, you can take some switchbacks directly over to the bar trail. If you do this option, your hike is 3.8 miles round trip and you have just under 2000 feet elevation gain. If you make it about two thirds of the way up the incline and you're really struggling, there's a bailout point there and you can then make a left, go right over to the bar trail if you do this option, your hike is only 2.5 miles round trip and you have 1350 feet elevation gain. There are several other bailout points along the incline before this bailout point at the two thirds of the way up. So you could potentially have an even shorter hike. The biggest thing is to listen to your body when you do this hike. Don't push yourself. Make sure you have enough water and you're prepared. Before you do the hike, you need to find a place to park to be able to get to the trailhead. And parking is very limited in Manitou Springs, Colorado. The Manitou Springs website, where you book your reservation for the hike, recommends parking in the Hiawatha Gardens parking lot at 10 Old Man's Trail. Parking is only a dollar an hour, and there's a free shuttle that runs back and forth from that parking lot over to the trailhead. What this site does not tell you is that directly across the street and slightly down the hill from the trailhead, there is a parking lot there that charges $10 for you to park there while you hike the incline. That's what we chose to do. And they don't mention this site on the website, but you can find it on Google Maps, or I can give you a link in the description below this video. There is another parking lot called the Bar Lot. This is for people that are hiking the National Forest via the Bar Trail. It is not for people hiking the incline. And when you get to the trailhead for the incline, there's someone there checking your permit and checking your parking validation. If they see that you parked in that Bar Lot, you will not be allowed to do the hike. So keep that in mind before you go. I'm already out of breath and all we did was cross the parking lot. <laughs> okay, it's too much. <laughs> Here we go. He's ready. It's going to beat the record. 17 minutes to the top. You can't even see the top. Good. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One of the great things about hiking the incline is it tells you what rail tie you're at every so often. So you get an idea of how far you made it and how much farther you need to go when you can see one of those little markers that say what step or rail tie you're on. More than halfway.
Very well maintained trail. This is very tough, strenuous hike, but it's not like the worst thing I've ever done. Oh, it isn't? Yeah, I think half dumb's harder. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, half dumb is 16 miles and this is only five round trip, but you know. How are you feeling? Got that little ray of hope. Right there. I see it's up. Yeah, there, there's the ray. Right there. <laughs> I felt very accomplished when I made it to the top of the incline steps. From this point, we continued along the loop over to some great views of Pikes Peak, but if at this point in the hike, you are ready to turn around and go back down the bar trail, right there, there's a sign that says connector to the bar trail. The loop that we did added about one mile to the hike and a couple hundred extra feet of elevation change. This was relatively moderate or mild compared to the incline hike that we had just completed. And this kind of felt like a nice little break and you still get some awesome views. Another Pikes Peak, only 10 more miles. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> So if you have the energy and you still have enough water on you, I recommend adding this one mile extra little loop to your hike. Eventually we made it back to the intersection with the incline, but we continued along the bar trail and took those switchbacks along the bar trail all the way back down to the parking lot. After you have completed your hike, you can go walk around Manitou Springs, check out the little shops in the town, maybe grab some delicious dinner. We ate there a couple nights and we really enjoyed the ramen at Oka Ramen. I also got some delicious pizza there and Nate tried some Indian food. So there are a lot of delicious food options in Manitou Springs. And that wrapped up our experience hiking the Manitou Incline. Overall, we really enjoyed the challenge and we were in a good mood that day, so we had a lot of fun. We took some silly pictures as you can see, but we enjoyed our time in Manitou Springs. If you guys are planning a trip to Manitou Springs, Colorado Springs area, and you are hoping to do the incline hike, have an awesome time. It is a fun hike and don't forget to make your reservation before you go. While you're here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our fun travel adventures together. Have a great day and happy travels, everyone. Bye-bye.